everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another spring outfits video. So the last spring outfits video I did was my capsule collection which was 12 items, 12 outfits showing you how to get the most out of your pieces and my essentials for spring. This video is a little bit different. I filmed one like this before and you guys seem to really like it and it's basically just five spring outfits. Using my favourite pieces in my wardrobe at the moment, pieces that I've loved wearing and just outfits that I've put together that I've really enjoyed and perhaps haven't got to showcase anywhere else on my YouTube channel yet. Last time I filmed this video I did it in terms of creating an outfit for a different occasion or a different purpose but this time I'm just going to show you the outfits. They're all casual, daytime wear, all a little bit different, different pieces in my wardrobe, slightly different vibes. Some are trend led, some are just key pieces in my wardrobe that I've had for a very long time. As always everything that I'm showing in this video and everything I'm wearing will be linked in the description box down below so you can find all the links down there. And without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into the first outfit. So first up we have a bit of denim. Denim is a spring trend that comes around every single year. So this is an oversized denim shirt that I've got from H&M. I've had it for a while. I got this in a size 10. It's a really nice, lovely, true blue denim as well, kind of vintage looking. And I personally love wearing it open. It does look quite nice, sort of a few buttons done up in the middle, but because it's so oversized, I find it kind of drowns me. So I love wearing it open with something underneath. I have gone for just a plain white vest top. Obviously you guys know I have my Loewe one, which I wear all the time. That is coming later in the video, but I thought just a plain white one would be quite nice to mix up a little bit. This one is from Berku, which I think that's how you say it, Berku. Um, which is a brand that very kindly sent me some pieces last year and I love the shape of this vest. It's kind of like a halter neck racer style and it's just a great basic to have. And then paired with the denim shirt, I have gone for these new white linen wide leg trousers that I got from Zara. The label is still in them because I'm saving them for a, a special occasion. I'm going to wear them for my boyfriend's birthday lunch, so um, I wanted to keep them nice. So that's why I haven't worn them yet, but I've tried these on and I love the fit of them. And you cannot go wrong with a pair of linen trousers in the spring or the summer. These are a nice length, slightly too long for me, but uh, I'm not sure. I might do kind of like that sticky tape trick where you just kind of fold up the hem so I can undo it and make them longer when I wear heels. I thought it'd be really nice to pair this outfit with some brown accessories so I have gone for my Loewe belt in the brown. Um, it's on the black side at the moment but this little brooch here you can just swap to either side the black or the brown which I think is such a good feature so basically you get two belts for the price of one. Um, I love tan leather in the spring summer it's my absolute favourite and of course I had to pair this with my Oran sandals. So I have a few new bags actually in this video to show you guys. And if you watch my recent vlog, you may have seen me unbox this one. It's from Strathbury, but I just thought it went so nicely with the creams and the tan leather in this outfit. It's so super cute, perfect for spring summer. Also comes with a long strap as well, so you can wear it cross body. So outfit number two, that first one was quite light and neutral. Here we're going back to monochrome. So I have my trusty black oversized blazer. I haven't worn this as much as I normally do, to be honest. I think I've been trying to go for slightly different jackets because I feel like I wear this too much, but it is a very trusted staple in my wardrobe. So I had to bring it out again for this video. I then have another pair of white trousers here. These ones are from Pretty Lavish and I've mentioned them a few times before on my channel. You will have seen them on. They fit really nicely. They're a gorgeous kind of crepe material, which doesn't crease. They're a really good quality and a really nice length as well. These are more of a straight leg as opposed to these inner ones are quite wide. So I think that these are probably more practical for day to day. Then I have a new purchase, which you may have spotted here, this Celine crop top. It's the black ribbed one and I adore this. I've wanted this for such a long time. I did um and ah between this one and the striped one, but I just thought the black I'll get my wear out of a lot more. I feel like a designer basic really elevates this look, but of course you don't need a sling crop top to recreate this. A plain black one or a plain white one would work just as well. Then to keep this look nice and elegant and to kind of even out the boxiness of this oversized blazer, I've gone for a pair of black Valley flats, these ones are from H&M. I believe they're sold out. I actually picked them up in store and they were only 12 99 They are, you know, quite thin and 
the quality is reflected in the price but for 13 pounds i just could not pick them up they do have a more expensive pair on mango that look very very similar to these i think they're around 40 pounds so i'll leave them linked down below but i'm really loving this ballet flat trend at the moment so i've got those and i've got another pair as well to show you in the next outfit so i told you we would be bringing out the loewe vest i have paired it here with my favorite black zara bomber jacket i am so glad that i managed to get hold of this because i believe it is sold out in this color and in the cream as well i think it's available still maybe in the khaki or maybe that's sold out but i'm so glad i went with the black you guys will remember in i think it was another one of my vlogs i had the cream version of this and then i had a cream jacket a tweed jacket and i wasn't sure which one to keep i went with the tweed jacket and i'm really glad i did because this one and that are so different and this one's really really nice to wear with a darker toned outfit i have popped this on top of an all white look before but i think it's really nice to wear with the darker colors as you know i love a monochrome outfit so i have paired it with a new addition to my wardrobe a black satin slip skirt i love the way that this all looks together the white vest obviously breaks up this black look a little bit but you could pair it with a black top if you wanted to this satin slip skirt is from Topshop on asos and i really like it because it's a nice long length i didn't want one too long that was dragging along the floor but i wanted one that was flattering and sort of came down to my ankles and this one does I got it in a size 8 and it fits really really nicely. When I first got it there was a slight sort of like bulge at the side. I think um, the way it was stitched is it kind of gives you a little bit of like hip room. Um, but that wasn't so flattering on me. But it seems to have dropped out actually as I've worn the skirt which is really good. But this is such a classic. You can dress this up with heels and like a silk cami. Or you can dress it down as I have in a more casual look. This outfit also looks great with trainers as well. But I've gone for my ballet flats. These ones are from Primark and they were £7. So I am so pleased with this find. I went shopping and I was going to buy the Marks and Spencers ballet flats. The black ones and the beige ones. I think they're around £40, £45 each. So I was prepared to spend, you know, close to £100 on two pairs of ballet flats. Because I wanted both colours luckily i popped into primark and h&m beforehand because i found those beige ones for seven pounds and then i found the black ones in h&m for 12.99 so i ended up spending 20 pounds on two pairs of shoes instead of close to 100 so i'm very glad that i did that so I popped down to your local primark uh, they did have the beige ones in all black as well they just don't have them in my size next up we have another light colored neutral look i wanted to balance this video out with a bit of light and dark so as you can see here we have another oversized blazer this one is from fourth and reckless and it is old so i won't be able to link the exact one down below but i will find it similar for you i got this in a size 10 so it's a little bit over size but i just adore the color of it i have a matching pair of trousers as well you may have seen the full suit on my instagram i wore it the other day with trainers and it's just such a classic kind of vibe i thought it'd be really nice to pair this with some white jeans these white jeans again from primark absolutely love them um, i did cut the hems myself uh, just because they're a bit long and I thought it would be nice to have them cropped. I never really shopped in Primark clothing that much before, apart from when I was quite a bit younger. Uh, but they actually have some great pieces. If you're just looking for something that you want to maybe wear a couple of times, like white jeans, I didn't really want to spend like 50, 60 pounds on a pair of white jeans that I didn't know how much I was going to wear or cream, sorry, they're more of like a cream off white. So I just stumbled across these in Primark. I think they're about 18 pounds and they do the job perfectly i've just popped this look again with the loewe vest top that's on the other hanger and i've gone for my birkenstock so i haven't got these out for quite a long time actually my birkenstocks these are the boston clogs in shade top they do keep coming in and out of stock i always try to link them on my instagram stories when they come back in stock because i know how hard they are to get hold of i'm so glad that i purchased them last year because I get so much wear out of them. I even bought a pair for my boyfriend and he loves them. They are just super easy to wear. Just slip them on. So comfortable. They're great with socks as well. They're like the summer version of the Ultra Mini Ugg. And then another new handbag that I've picked up recently is this mini coach pillow, which is so adorable. I thought this went so nicely with the outfit as it's a really nice light cream colour. It's got a top handle and it's got a crossbody strap, so super practical. This is a small bag. I mean, you can tell 
it's quite tiny and it's not really that roomy in the inside like some bags look small but you can squeeze quite a lot in you can't really with this i mean it fits my phone and card holder and a lipstick um and that's about it but it is so cute and you guys know i love a small bag and finally it wouldn't be spring without a trench coat so i have definitely been reaching for this shorter arquette trench coat a lot more than my longer one in the last month or so and i just feel like this is a little bit easier to wear i think it works better as the weather's getting slightly warmer uh, they do have this online at the moment i think they have it on h&m as well because um arquette and all that group are now on H&M if you want to purchase from there. And I think it was actually slightly cheaper. I don't know why, um, but I think it was. But this is just such a great throw on jacket. Sometimes it's still too cold to get away with not wearing a jacket or something slightly lighter weight. Whereas this is like a proper jacket and it will keep you that bit warmer. Underneath, I've just gone for a white linen shirt. I actually got this out of hiding yesterday when I did my wardrobe switch over and yeah it's really nice to have a nice lightweight linen shirt i love wearing linen shirts underneath jackets like this because i feel like they fit a lot a lot nicer under something if i've got like a boxy starchy shirt on underneath i feel like it creases it can look a bit strange it doesn't sit how i want it to under a jacket but something that's a little bit more flimsy and flexible like linen can fit really nicely under jackets. This one is just from H&M, it's super old, but I love it. I was contemplating black jeans with this look, which I think would work equally as well, but I have gone for my trusty weekday row jeans. These are in the shade Summer Blue and they are the perfect straight leg jean. Slightly fitted, I went for my normal size in these and I went for a slightly shorter leg, so I think I got a waist 26, leg 30 just so they're a little bit cropped and i feel like they work really really nice with trainers so i've gone for my sambas which are a fab trend piece at the moment again something that keeps coming in and out of stock so definitely keep an eye on those so those are my five spring outfits i really hope you guys enjoyed seeing them let me know in the comments which one was your favorite if you did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a like if you are new to my channel I would love it if you subscribed. We are getting ever so close now to 30,000 subscribers and it's getting really exciting. Thank you as always so much for all your love and support. Every single comment gets seen. I am so terrible at getting back to them though. I will work on that. I see the comment and I'm like, oh, that's lovely. Think of the reply in my head and then I never actually reply. So I'm so sorry if you've left a comment and I've not replied. I'm gonna try and go back through all my recent videos and reply to you all. But yeah, thank you so much for all the love and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye.